in Cotter's eight-step change model. In today's era where every organization is dealing with economic pressure, changing political priorities, technological issues, environmental issues and growing needs and expectations of the consumer, organizational change within public bodies is becoming an increasing necessity and priority. However, change is a complicated and tangled process which can have both negative and positive results. But taking the risk is the biggest and the most important challenge for any organization. To help managers to successfully implement change within the organization there are various change models by various writers and philosophers which have been introduced and taken into practices. Change models help the organization to simplify the process and ease the process of implementation of principles. Change models are being prepared on the basis of observation and experiences, so using a change model or basically using a plan is always a better option for successful results. One of the greatest and most successful change model is Cotter's eight-stage change model. His writing and steps are the Bible for leaders and managers around the globe who want to achieve great success. His idea of change is divided into eight steps. Step 1, create urgency. Step 2, form a powerful coalition. Step 3, create a strategic vision and initiatives for change. Step 4, communicate the vision. Step 5, remove obstacles. Step 6, create short-term wins. Step 7, build on the change. Step 8, anchor the changes in corporate culture. In this video each step is discussed using an example of a small restaurant named Zest, which is located in London and is owned by an Indian Mr. Arnaj. Seeing the declining profits and losses in the restaurant, due to increasing competition and same menu in all the nearby restaurants he thought of bringing his culture and cuisines into his restaurant. His goal was to create a unique image introduce his culture to the people and gain competitive advantages from the same. In order to achieve these things he thought of serving Indian food and change the ambience of the restaurant as per the authentic Indian culture. Implementing this change was a tough task for him as most of the employees were from European countries and have no knowledge about the Indian culture. His research to implement the change and from the past experiences Anaj, ended up with deciding Cotter's eight-step model. This video will now show how he will bring the change in the organization without losing his employees and whether the change will be proved successful or not. To create a sense of urgency Anaj called an urgent meeting with all his employees to discuss the financial losses the restaurant was having because of the repetitive menu and increasing competition. He warned his employees if the situation continues they all might need to leave their jobs and he might have to close the restaurant which was his last option. He explained the need for change and tried convincing them to support the change. He also showed them the positive aspect of working in a different environment and with different cuisines and people. He then analyzed the advantages they all will get if the change is achieved and committed that the change will bring lots of positive impacts the fear of losing the jobs and Anaj's commitment towards the positive future changed the mind of the employees to support change. After the employees agree on the change the second step is to create a guiding coalition. In this step Anaj selects some of his employees who will act as leaders in implementing the change. Firstly he chooses Vishal who is also a citizen of India who will employ the new chef who will prepare Indian cuisine. He also gave him the responsibility to help the chef to set up the new kitchen according to the need and preference. Secondly he asked Alex and Rachel to study a bit about Indian culture and research around and change the ambience of the restaurant. He asked Monica who was an Asian to help them purchase the required material and things. He then appointed the marketing and sales section to Chandler and Joey and asked them to advertise the new concept and focus on Indian regions of London and also for Indian students. Anaj understands that this is a very important step as this will motivate all the employees and help them the reason behind change. 
He designed the vision which he is expecting from the change and then communicated it well within the team. The vision of long-term sustainability, goodwill, innovation, and increasing demand. To gain their trust and understanding he, take all his employees to some Indian restaurants around London. He made them realize their working pattern and style. He initiated a training program which included videos of Indian food, culture and other things. He himself started changing the restaurant and thus initiated the process. He knew that to be successful is not an easy task. There will be many barriers which will come during the implementation. So the fourth step is removing the obstacles. He forecasted the upcoming barriers and took every possible step to overcome them. He made sure all his employees have all the possible resources with them. He employed new staff to help. Throughout the step he addressed all the barriers which were brought to his attention by the staff immediately to keep the change process moving. Anna just understands the concept that nothing motivates more than success. Keeping this in mind, he used to celebrate every short-term success and reward his employees with small parties or awards and continues appreciation for their work. He publicly announces the short-term wins and created an enthusiastic environment. This helped in continuous transaction of the change process. After celebrating the short-term wins, it is necessary to start the change and see the outcomes. After the great marketing strategies designed by Chandler and Joey, the result was tremendous. People from all regions started coming and trying the new cuisine. The excellent customer feedbacks on the websites and different portals started increasing. Anuj focused on the role of present success as an enabler of future success. He shared the comments with his employees, of the new customers and appreciation from existing customers for bringing in some innovative ideas. He showed the graph of rising customer base and profits which made all the employees realize and believe the reason of the change. Finally when the restaurant starts running and the whole change process was executed. Now the last step is to check whether the change is good or bad. Is the change working upon the laid plans and strategies? Are the outcomes profitable for the organization and employees? To review all this Anuj asked his employees to ask customers for feedbacks. And also if they can suggest any new services or improvements not only customers he asked his employees to continue search for new changes and suggest time to time for improvement. This action will motivate employees and help to get adapted to the change. Cotter's eight-stage model acts as an overall development tool for the organization by giving a 3D linkage between the team, association and an individual person. Everyone in the organization feels their importance. Steps are easy to follow and understand. It not only focuses on change, but also the approval and readiness of the change plan, which makes the whole process easier. As from the above example, this model helped Anuj to change his restaurant and increase his profits without losing the trust and confidence of employees. He successfully implemented the change following the eight steps and the results were as per his expectations.